Hi there, what's up guys, wish you're doing well. As you're all aware, the website header is very important because it serves few purposes and it's part of a consistent user experience that all good websites share. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a stunning header for your website using Elementor. I'm not gonna focus with the design, I'm just showing you the method and you can do much better than it. All right, let's start. As you can see, this is the default header of my theme, Ocean WP. Before we start creating our header by Elementor, we will need to design our menu and choose logo for this website. Go to Customize. Here we are. Then scroll down to Header. First of all, we're going to choose logo, which is this one. Select, crop, okay, crop image. Our logo has changed right now. One step back, then go to the menu. And right now, we're gonna design our menu. I'm gonna put it in the right, yeah, link effects, which is what will happen when you hover over your link. I'm going to choose practice. Let's see how, how it looks like. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna change it to black lighting. Yes, I think this is better. And you can choose whatever you want, of course. Okay, I'm gonna change the color of the link effects. I'm gonna choose this color. Yeah, here it is. Change the link color. I'm gonna choose the black link color hover link color hover yeah i'm gonna show the green and decrease a little bit the opacity yeah it's good link color current, current menu yeah i'm gonna choose yeah this i think this would be better or or this yeah The link background color leave it as is okay link background hover i'm gonna show this this color yeah i think it's good right now i like it and the link background current mini item i think is good yeah good okay let's save our changes publish If we have to see, no, local host, shows F to see, and see, yes, here it is. This is our menu, and this is our logo. Now we're going to use this menu and this logo in Elementor. I'm going to dashboard and scroll down theme panel, my library. Add new. I'm gonna name it my header. I'm gonna publish. Then edit with Elementor. Let's start building our header now. 
in this header I'm gonna use a slideshow like this one which you can put your images, products or recent posts there and for this we're gonna need to install a plugin called Smart Slider plugins add a new and type Smart Slider here yep this one install now then activate it okay and here it is our plugin smart slider gonna open it scroll down and choose new slider you can here change the width of your slideshow and the height I'm gonna leave the width as is and change the height to 250 pixel create okay then scroll down and choose your photos slide I'm gonna choose this photo and this one and this one select okay here they are let's change some setting for this slideshow and here you have variety adjustment that you can play with okay let's let's choose general and I'm gonna use main animation fade then go to autoplay enable autoplay I'm gonna change it to 3000 millisecond media starter no I don't want it rows enable this one shows on hover then go to size and change this from auto to full width and that's it I think this is enough okay let's scroll up and go to publish and here it is our short code copy it copy and now we can go back to Elementor first add a new section we don't forget to stretch it to make it full width search and change content width to full width okay right now go short code put it there and past our short code all right this is our slideshow now we're gonna add a new section using this structure with the three columns as usual S stretch it and change it to full width okay so we're gonna add our logo logo custom header logo and put it there the position leave it as is on the left then add our menu nav custom header nav and here it is our menu which we've created previously change the position to center all right and now like an option you can add uh, social icons or wherever you want I'm gonna add social icon social here it is okay let's go back to the first section and take it up a little bit by decrease the margin top and now we can move this to the left a little bit yep then to the right yeah good all right everything is good right now but we have our social icon we're gonna take it down a little bit go to margin top and choose 10 pixel okay now it's time to take this section to the top advance it and link this and 
and take it up. Okay. Uh, not yet. Yeah, that's good. And we don't forget to increase the margin button to return the contained page back to its place. All right. Okay, good. As you can see, the menu is not clear enough here. So to fix this, let's change the background color. Got style. Choose and change the color of it. I'm gonna show us this color. Yeah, I think this is enough. And decrease the opacity. Well, I think it's good right now. Everything is ready right now, so we're gonna save our changes. Our custom header has been created now, therefore, we're gonna have to change the default header of this website to this new one. Go to customize, appearance, customize. Then go to header, general, and change the style from transparent to custom header. Yep, here it is our header, my header. So I'm gonna publish. So let's see how it looks like. Okay, here it is our header. And as I told you in the beginning, take your time and build much better header than this one. I wish you enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I will be glad if you hit the subscribe button below right now. Please, if you have any question, feel free to ask. See you soon in another video and have a good day.